Hey guys, Shock here from Socky Tech and in today's video we are going to be talking about the One UI 6.1 update and the always on display issue. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, it is running One UI 6.1 and if I scroll down just a little bit and if I go to lock screen and AOD and if I tap on always on display you can see the settings have been trimmed down as opposed to 6.0. That's one problem. The other problem is when I go to the lock screen and if I change the lock screen uh, clock style, as you can see right here, if I tap on this guy and if I change the lock screen clock style to this, for example, it also changes the AOD clock style and I don't want that. People want different clock styles for the always on display and for the lock screen. So I am unable to change the clock style on the always on display, it defaults to the same that I have on the lock screen. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the fix. Now ideally, you would go to good lock module, okay? And when you go inside the good lock module, what you do is you then go into the lock star module, which is right here, that allows you to change the always on display parameters. You turn on the always on display under lock star, but the problem is, even if I go here and if I change the clock style to something else from this uh, option here, let's just, as an example, I'm gonna show you this right here. I'm gonna tap on save. And look at this, even after I do that, it is not applying it, okay? It is keeping this one right here, the one that you don't want. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the fix. Samsung has issued a brand new fix. Now to download the fix update, what you wanna do is you wanna click the link down below. Once you click that link, you have the always on display fix. You wanna scroll down a little bit. This is my website. And under the always on display link update, you click on this link, it'll take you to the Galaxy Store and you have this brand new always on display update. If I scroll down, you can see it was issued on March 29th for 28 megabytes. And if I look at what's new, it says fixed to provide separate AOD clock settings through good lock lock star. So I'm gonna tap on update and I'm gonna show you guys how this update is gonna fix the problem. Now, this is not a complete fix. I'm gonna show you why, but still, it is better than nothing. Now, if I go back into the GoodLock application, okay, right here, and if I tap on this, and if I tap on this, and if I change the clock style, let's just say this one as an example, okay? Tap on save. Now, now when I go to the lock screen, the always on display pops up. You can see we have two different clock versions, okay? Now here's still the problem. This is good, but we still have a problem and Samsung needs to fix this. And I'm gonna show you what that is. If I go to lock screen AOD, always on display. So this is what it looks like with 6.1. Now here's the problem. Before 6.1, this is what it looks like. Right here, this is a 6.0 device. So if I go to my settings and if I scroll down a little bit, and if I go to lock screen, if I go to always on display, look at the difference. We can access the clock style from here and we can also change the portrait orientation. And also we have this auto brightness option for the lock screen that has now been removed. So still, this seems to be a little bit downgrade for the S23 Ultra. And this seems to be a little bit better that you have to go and download a fix uh, to fix it. You would have to get the good lock application, which is in the Galaxy Store. Okay, if I search for good lock application. So you have to get this application. It is a Samsung application. And then you would have to download the lock star module. And then also by downloading the always on display fix that I showed you guys, you're finally gonna be able to change uh, the clock style for the always on display from right here. Okay, you turn this on. Let me just cancel them. Okay, this you would have to turn this on and modify your always on display from the lock star. With that update, you're going to see the effects actually show up on the AOD. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.